Hey, what's up there? TRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to customize an AirPod case. So, obviously a white case, but I don't want crystal stones. I want it to look a little bit more, a little bit cooler for a dude. I already did Lorene's, my wife's, and the crystal stones. So, I'm going to use the jet black stones, okay? But I don't want to have this white background. I'm going to use our super tight multi-grab 360. But then what I'm going to do ahead of time is I'm just going to kind of black this out. And use a sharpie to black it out. That way it has the same color background. So you won't see all the white showing through when I use the jet black TRW diamond cut flat back rhinestone. So the glue, the stones, color it up real quick. We're going to decorate it and it's going to look pretty freaking awesome. Stick around to see how. Okay, so this is everything we're going to need in this project here. we got our AirPod case. And you can see this. We're just going to color it up. we got our multi-grab super tight. Multi-grab 360 available on the website, therhinestoneworld.com. we got our little application syringe that we're going to put the glue into. We got a little pickup tool, different sizes of our jet black stones, and then our Sharpie to color this up. So let's go ahead and first get to coloring it, and then we'll start applying the stones. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and load my glue up here. Got my multi-grab 360. Get a good amount into my syringe here. That should be pretty good. And let's go ahead and close that off. Cover this back up. I've been using this tube now for probably, oh, I would say close to three to four weeks. All right, so I would say we are good to go. I always like to keep a kind of paper towel near me in between as I'm gluing to just be able to wipe it off quick. Alright crew, well that's it. We just finished up this AirPod case. We used about 790 SS10 TRW Diamond Cut Jet Black of the Flatback Rhinestones. 
So we started out using the multi-grab glue and then I actually switched over to the fabric tack or fusion tack glue just because I wanted to see how they held up. So the top half is all the multi-grab 360. The bottom half is the fabric tack or the fusion tack. Now over time I want to see how they hold up as far as if they hold up the same, if any of them have any issues, and I'll keep you guys updated. But pretty awesome right here. You can see the close-up picture of the AirPod case. Open it up. Still works perfectly. And right around 790 SS10 TRW Diamond Cut Flatback Jet Black Rhinestones. So thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this AirPod case. You saw my wife's that we did in the Crystal Stones that looked awesome. Well, this case, I wanted to do something a little bit different. wanted it to be the jet black. I colored it with the Sharpie just to give that black background. Turned out pretty freaking awesome. So thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Of course, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right here for all types of tutorial videos. And always check out the website, therhinestoneworld.com. We'll see you guys soon. Later.